So not all plants are meant to be pretty on top of your tabletop. There are some plants on our planet that has a more sinister intention. Not only with plants in their immediate surroundings, but also with insects and animals. And today I found one of those plants. Quite a rare sighting, and I'm very excited to share this one with you. I'm in the southwestern Cape in South Africa, close to the sea, high on the mountain, in a bog, so it's very wet down here. And this is where Rorigula gorgonias grow, or the giant flycatcher. Now we all know carnivorous plants, sundews. They've got all those shiny globlets on the leaves, and when an insect lands on it or walks on it, it kind of grabs hold of it, and then it sucks via enzymes all the juices out of that insect, absorbs it, and so it feeds itself. Now, this Gorgonia, so giant flycatcher, also has the droplets. It's got all the sticky bits all over the leaves, and you'll see some big flies that's been caught but it does have no enzymes. It cannot absorb any of the nutrients of those insects. So what does it do? This plant has an ingenious idea, and it actually farms with insects. It has its own pets, and they are called Pomeridia, or the assassin bug. Now I'm gonna try and show you one. They're all over here, and they only live on this plant, and they're very quick. So let me bend over this, and there you'll see. There's an assassin bug, right there. Come, move. And they are the secret to the success of being fed for this plant. So once the insect lands on the leaf, it gets stuck, and Pamiridia immediately runs towards it. It takes its proboscis and stings it between the abdomen and the head. There's a little soft bit and then paralyzes and kills the insect. It sucks dry all the nutrients of the insect and then goes away and hide again. So you would say, now how does a plant get its nutrients? It's actually housing the insect, it's protecting it from its enemies, and it's giving its food. So how is this benefiting? Well, the excess or the excretions of Pomeridia or the assassin bug lands on the leaves of the plant and the giant flea flycatcher actually absorbs it then. So that's the secret how it gets its nutrition. Another interesting fact is that Pomeridia runs all over the plant, so how does it not get stuck? And that is also quite astounding. It's got fine little micro hairs on its body and it acts like a non-stick surface, like you would when you bake a cake and you spray the cake pan. So it cannot get stuck on any of the glue of the giant flycatcher. You'll see that the plant's in flower right now. It's from July to October. It's gorgeous flowers. And that's again another secret of the giant flycatcher. It gets pollinated by Pomeridia. Maybe not the big ones, but the juvenile plants. So bees also pollinate this and a few other insects, but the juvenile Pomeridia or assassin bugs hide in the flower when the flower's a little bit more closed and they pollinate it. So it gets food and pollination from assassin bug. An assassin bug gets a house, food, and protection. An incredible relationship between insect and plant that cannot be broken as one is extremely dependent on one another. What a sight to be seen here in its natural habitat high in the mountains. Mm -hmm.